Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This mission comes to you via a courier after you hit a certain level. The level I forgot, but um, Sidjir, the Jarl of Falkreath, wants to talk to you and has a mission for you. And that mission is to kill some bandits that he no longer finds of you use. And they are usually located in a mine on his province. And again, he was dealing with them. And now he wants you to kill them because, well, it's on the down low that he's dealing with them. So let's get on with this mission. Yes, what I too? Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. Now that you have your marching orders, uh, it's at Knife Point Ridge, which is a mine that it's kind of weird if you unlock it for a mission, for this mission, you won't be able to enter the depths. But if you go back there, there are followers to some... Oh, hey, Barabbas. That's another mission. But if you go to another Daedra's um, altar or temple, they will assign you to go kill those followers at Knife Point Ridge. And then you'll have access to the depths of Knife Point Ridge. In this case, you have very little access, and there's not a lot to mine. But I digress. Now that you've got your marching orders, you have to walk all the way out to Knife Point Ridge if you haven't already explored the area and kill the bandits. I'm going to um, cut to that because it was a very long walk and I don't feel like fast forwarding and making you sick. So let's get to the mission. When you arrive at Knife Point Ridge, you can try and climb up and sneak up behind the bandits, but I'm going to do the more direct route, and the bandits are now going to be aware of me, and I'm going to try and fight them in some way and get a little closer. Yeah, they haven't found me so far, but I'm trying to climb the rocks to get up and get around them. They didn't have very good climbing features in Skyrim, I can say that. Ah, the hell with it. I'm just going to go and do the direct route and fight the bandits. They are now aware of me. best way to do things is kill all the bandits, then loot the corpses. Wow. It seems like every game I play like this, there's looting involved. But you get some really cool stuff. And these bandits are shooting arrows. That's why I'm trying to lure them out into the open so I can stun them with the word and cut them up. This guy is on the tower. I can take a few arrow hits and come up here and cut him down and then go loot the bandits. I love a challenge. 
What gets me is some of the bravado these bandits uh, say, I love a challenge. Well, there was no challenge to me, but to him, yeah, and he didn't measure up. It, it, you'll get that in Skyrim where the guy is all bragging and tough and you cut him down easily. I'm going to borrow the banded iron shield. Right now, my dual wield character is still relatively weak and wearing steel armor, which has not been well modified. So let's get up here and there's going to be more bandits to clear out and they're over here. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to equip the armor and the shield, actually, because these guys can actually be fairly tough. One of the skills you should learn in Skyrim is alchemy. I'm serious. Learn to craft poisons. They help you out early on. Slow, paralysis, just poisons that do damage. Yeah, they help out really well. And then you go to any alchemy lab and you can craft poisons. Damage, magic, regen, not good, but fortify health. That might help. Let's see if I can craft some poisons here that will help me out. Slow and paralysis poisons are awesome. When you have a dual wield character, you don't have to worry too much about getting hacked up unless there's a lot of people. And then it's usually good to have some poisons or like I did, I grabbed the shield as a backup. In this case, I'm going to be fighting the bandit leader at some point and bandit leaders are really tough so let's see fortify health is going to help me out so i will use that again learn to mix potions learn to mix good potions and you can look up guides on the internet on how to craft potions in skyrim i might do a video on potions to craft and what ingredients you need but let's continue on to take down the bandits I enjoy some of those epic kill cutscenes. Now, as you see, I used the shield against the guy who was using the two-handed axe. Uh, yeah, two-handed people against dual-wield guys. Um, yeah, they can really cut you apart real quick. So, that's why I'm grabbing the shield until I can modify the armor I am wearing to withstand uh, massive amounts of damage, which two-handed characters inflict. Also, two-handed characters can block. And, oh, another thing you should always do, equip your weapons with shock. Because not only does it do extra damage, it does magic damage. And damage magic regen is another good potion to use against magic wielding characters. So we're going to enter the mine and I'm going to take on the boss.
That was kind of a crappy epic kill scene, but now I'm going to take the steel weapons and armor because they're worth selling and carrying. And then I got to return to um, Sigir while I'm going to, though, go through here and mine. There should be a pickaxe around here. Mine iron ore. Um, yeah, there's a pickaxe hanging on the wall. And then open this. Lock picking is another skill. Alchemy and lock picking, learn those. You don't have to spend perk points on them, but learning them is very, and getting a high skill level is very essential to helping your character out. And before you get your lock picking skills up way high, my advice carry at least 100 lock picks because when you get to some tough locks to pick, you're going to be breaking a lot of picks and nothing, nothing is more frustrating than breaking your last lock pick and ending up having to go get some and come back to the dungeon to open that chest. It sucks. So always at least 100 lock picks. When you get down to 30, buy 70 more from anyone, smiths, stored retailers, whatever. Just get 100 lock picks and then at least when you get down to 30, get that lock pick count up. But if your lock picking skills get better, or you have potions to help, or something like a form of jewelry to help out, yeah, it makes life easier and you get loot faster. That's just some advice from an experienced player. Now that I got all the mining out of the way, let's see what's in this master chest. Oh, it's empty. I forgot I emptied it. I'll dump the shield in there, and I'm going to rearm myself. The pickaxe goes in there because I don't need those anymore, and I'm going to get out of here and talk to Sidger. And this is the area where you get to access the depths of... Um, Knife Point Ridge in a different mission, but I want to make sure I have all the iron ore. Yep, there's some here. And now I'm going to return to Sidger and I'm done mining. And I'm going to cut over to return to Sidger, pick up all the ingredients. And once I exit this mine, I'll get right back to the Yarl to continue the mission and get my reward. Good to see you. Fuck. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fame. On your way, then. If you have a certain uh, expansion pack for um, Skyrim, which comes with the Ultimate Edition, and you download it, you can build a house, and one of the houses is, it's actually really nice. The location in the Falkareth Kingdom, um, you can build a really good house, and it's a really nice location. I believe I did a video of some altar, which is actually hidden, but it's behind where you build the house. I'm going to redo some of the Skyrim videos I've done in the past, which is part of my plan in this higher definition, much better looking. 
type of game. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like this type of video or any other type videos that I might post, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I do my best to post four times a week, and I've been pretty reliable, except for that vacation thing. Please comment. I love reading comments and responding to them at this point. Just be gentle. As always, thanks for stopping by.